Just had this suit tailored. So, you're a masochist. Better be a partner. I'm a busy man. He is coming with the clouds, and every eye shall be blind with his glory. Every ear shall be stricken deaf to hear the thunder of his voice. Let the men, women, and children of the earth come forth. To gather and behold the power of Adam. Let those who have... I'll be damned. You did it, didn't you? You disarmed that thing. Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you move in? Could use someone like you. Got an empty place here you can use. Here's the key indeed. It ain't much to look at, but talk with Moira. She's got random odds and ends you might be able to spruce the place up with. You stay safe. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wadsworth, your personal robotic butler. I am here to look after your needs and to keep you happy and entertained. What can I do for you? Certainly, sir. Here. Certainly, sir. Certainly, sir. Certainly, sir. I'm sorry. Photons have mass. I didn't even know they were Catholic. Huh. Certainly, I am programmed with a multitude of hair shaping scenarios. If you would care to choose one.
Tacoma emitter array requires recharging. Let's talk about government, shall we? Or more specifically, your government, dear America. The Enclave. Just who is the Enclave? Why, now that's simple. The Enclave is you, America. The Enclave is your sister, your aunt, your friend, your, your neighbor. And well, yes, the Enclave is me. <laughs> As your president, it is my responsibility to preside over our great democracy. So, as your president, I am the voice, I am the heart and soul of the Enclave. That is to say, I am the voice, heart, and soul of America. But only together. Together can we hope to reach our full potential the way we were before the war. Whole, beautiful, powerful. One enclave, one America, now and forever. So remember, America, the enclave is working around the clock to return this country to greatness. All you need is a little patience. A little faith. Until we meet again, this is President Eden signing off. Who the hell are you? Where'd you come from? Did Moriarty send you? That bastard. He's a... He's a liar! He just wants me dead. Those caps are all mine. I earned them! Look, I don't know who you are. Here you go. Thanks, kid. Who the hell are you? I'm tired of hiding out here like some kind of wasteland dog. I... I guess you're right. Here! This is all I have. Please leave me alone now. Every eye shall... Who have we here? 
I am Confessor Cromwell. Back he comes. So, are you just thirsty, or are you ready to pay me fee? Dear... You took care of our little lost lamb, eh? Oh, and how about you just hand over a hundred caps and we'll call it even? It's called economic. I told you the favor was... No, that wasn't. Your dad came through here all right. Didn't stay long, though. Said he had some important business to attend to and headed off to the city. Something to do with Galaxy News Radio. Guess that'd be the place for you to start. Good. I hope she... amongst us who would shatter our hope for peace, order, and security. These radical malcontents don't care about you. They don't care about America. All they care about is fulfilling their own selfish desires. Let's take a tally of these agitators, shall we? There are, of course, the raiders, those anarchistic ruffians who roam the wastes, preying on any and all stealing, murdering. The so-called Brotherhood of Steel. Don't be fooled by their pseudo-nightly nonsense or supposed connections to the United States Army. These power-armed Boy Scouts are nothing more than common criminals with access to some antiquated technology. Criminals who have had the audacity to claim this country's most important military installation the Pentagon as their own personal clubhouse. And don't be fooled, America. Those who have left the Brotherhood of Steel, branded outcasts, are just as dangerous, even more so, being in exile. And what about the slavers of Paradise Falls? The frighteningly irradiating ghouls of underworld. And last but not least, the hideously mutated super mutants that have completely o- run the entire downtown D.C. area. Lawless
Justice, terror, murder. They're all around us, I know. I know. But not for long, sweet America. Not for long. Oh, no. Conclave will restore peace, order, and prosperity to this great nation. And those who oppose us will be removed forever. Reflect upon all I have said, my America. Reflect and wait. For soon, this great nation will be reborn. And the Enclave will be its salvation. Till next time, this is your president, John Henry Eaton, signing off. Very nice to make your acquaintance. I'm your new Robo Butler. Good morning, sir. What can I do for you? I'm sorry. This is Enclave Radio with your host, me, President John Henry Eaton. Hello, my beautiful America. This is President Eaton, and it's time we had a talk. I've been thinking quite a bit lately about something we can all relate to, something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I am referring, of course, to our great national pastime. Baseball. Or so it had been. That's right, America. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Great. Oh, just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or, or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. Oh, certainly, your majesty. Then consider this armored vault suit to be Megaton's gift to your mighty empire. However, you may consider going incognito. People around here don't always take kindly to monarchy, you know. That'll be good for the book. In fact, 
Want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Let's see. Dealing with radiation, testing an experimental device, and, I won't lie, it may include some reading. That sort of stuff, you know? But for all that, I can pay you with caps, meds, chems, and maybe even a few of those unique inventions, if you do a good job. Interested? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? People could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Good enthusiasm! Now, I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, <laughs> sounds like fun, doesn't it? Well, that's what I need your help for, isn't it? I know lots about it from books, but I never seem to get a live example. Not for long, anyway. So I need you to get a bit of radiation poisoning so I can study its effects. Oh, not a deadly dose, of course. I can fix you up before that. Oh, you're a peach. Or at least some sort of hardy fruit that grows in the savagely irradiated mockery of agriculture we have nowadays. Now, 200 rads should be enough for basic sickness. But if you can get 600 or more rads, my test will be even more accurate. Just make sure you can get back here, and I'll see to it that you're well taken care of. Good hunting! President John Henry Eaton, and you're listening to Enclave Radio, the voice of warmth and reason in this cold, unreasonable world. Relief from the pain and hardships of this world. Yea, your suffering shall exist no longer. It shall be washed away in Adam's glow, burned from you in the fire of his brilliance. Each of us shall give birth to a billion stars formed from the mass of our wretched and filthy bodies. Each of us shall be mother and father to a quadrillion civilizations. Each of us shall know peace, shall know an end to pain, and shall know Adam in his glory. I urge you, my friend, come, drink with me and pray. Glorious Atom, and now I one of my unto inspirational you, feeble bones. From the mouth I of your presence, your will John Henry Eaton, straight to your heart. I beg old of minds you. are like old horses. You must Choose exercise me as your vessel. If you wish to keep guide me to your brilliance. Order. 
Divide Hello again, each America, and give relief to this rotten this flesh. President Cast and the fragile form of this ephemeral we body in into new poverty, life greed, in the forge violence, of your glow. Indeed, the very Atom, seat of the federal Tom's government, Washington, D.C., has been reduced to what is now known soul. as the Capitol we stay Wasteland. True until the day the of division, until the dawn How of did it come to this, America? How did your leaders allow the most powerful nation on Earth Behold. to die? The answer is really quite simple. Incompetence. Incompetence at the highest echelons of power. We put our trust, our faith, in half-wits. Our intrepid leaders had everything they wanted. Power, wealth, Oh, feeling a bit under the weather, or a bit over the Geiger counter? <laughs> Greed, I can tell! You're positively glowing! Now, just hold on and try not to move. Tell me how it feels, and I'll get you fixed right up. You're a mighty lucky one, you know that. At this state, most people have trouble standing up, much less walking over here. Now, let me take a few notes, and I'll handle that nasty radiation with a bit of my own homemade rad cure concoction. I've never had a chance to test it out on someone so heavily dosed, but I'm sure it'll work out fine. <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Okay, well, a little ramen time. milk, a couple magnets, and maybe a few happy thoughts. Until next time, this is John Henry. Well, you're alive! Oh, that's the good news. But there was a little side effect. A teeny tiny, um, mutation. Uh, but it seems to be benign, at least. Here, take a few radiation chems, as my little way of saying, I'm sorry I twisted your DNA like a kitten with a ball of yarn. I've got to see how safe it is to scavenge food from one of those huge stores out there. I need someone to research how to travel through a minefield. And that'll cover the first section of the book, which strikes your fancy. Lamp. I've heard stories about a ghost town that's just full of mines. Traders just call the place Minefield. Sounds like the place for some field work. Get in there, get back, and tell me all about it. And could you bring back a mine for my studies? I hear there's a playground in the middle of town. Reach that point and come back, and I'm sure you'll have some stories to tell. This is Enclave Radio with your host, me, President John Henry. Greetings, dearest America. This is your president, John Henry Eaton. Let's chat, shall we? It's time we discuss something rather important. The issue at hand is, well, my presidency. The question has been raised, I know, as to just how I came to be elected to this most illustrious office. Whether or not I had been elected at all. To that I must answer, of course. Of course I was elected. Sweet America. Of course. Isn't the right to vote the Welcome very foundation of a democracy? Fortunately, in the interest of national security, I'm not at liberty to discuss the details of the election. You understand. But rest assured, I am your president. Because the appropriate people of this great nation decided I should be. I am your duly elected representative. Of course, when the time comes, when my term is up, America will be free to elect a new president. And that person will have our full faith and confidence. Carry
carry our collective values forward into the future. Democracy here in America. Democracy now and forever. So remember, America. John Clave is working around the clock to return this country to greatness. All you need is a little patience, a little faith. Till next time, this is your president. John Henry Eaton signing off. Sweet America, hello again. This is President Eaton. I'd like to have a chat. When I was a child, growing up in rural Kentucky, I had the best friend a boy could hope for, my dear old dog, Honey. Oh, ho, ho, the adventures we had. From Nog Creek to Hoganville we roamed, carefree and courageous, irresponsible. You're listening to Enclave Radio. I'm John Henry Eden, President of the Enclave, President of America, President of your heart. And now, one of my inspirational quotes from the mouth of your...
your president, John Henry Eaton, straight to your heart. Commerce with all nations, alliance with none, should be our motto. This is President Eaton, and you're listening to Enclave Radio, the voice of America. Hey, who are you? Right. What do you want? Well, you can never be too careful. Be warned, it's not safe here. Super mutants have attacked recently and carried off some of our friends. Come in, just don't cause any trouble, okay? Welcome to Big Town. Not that there's much of a town left. Those super mutants keep... I thought growing up was a good thing. You got to leave and explore the real world. Well, nobody tells you that the real world sucks. At first, we just paid the slavers to leave us alone. When we ran out of money, Red found other ways to convince them to leave us alone. But now she and the others are gone. Super mutants attacked and carried them off. No one knows when they're coming back, or who will be next. They took them to the north, to the police station or something. Do you think you could find them and rescue them? Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. We don't have much, but if you can bring them back alive, we'll give you everything we can. Feel it. Uh, what? You? I gave you the welcoming speech. There was a super mutant attack recently, and where there's one big ugly, there are ten more just waiting to grab you by the throat. Then the slavers will come and pick off what's left of your carcass and drag any survivors to Paradise Falls. Skulk up toward Germantown, near the police station. They always come from that direction. There isn't anything here that hasn't been destroyed or dragged away. You're better off scavenging the dead out in the wasteland. Bye. I am the voice, heart, and soul of America. But only together. At least we made it another day, right? Can we hope a visitor? Who'd want to visit this hellhole? I'll bet you're here to rape and pillage us, aren't you? Aren't you? Not that it matters. We're all super mutant snacks anyway. One America. Now. And forever. Well, if you feel like dying, go right on ahead. They're up there at some police station near Germantown. Good luck. You're gonna need it. All you need is a little patience. We got two things to do in this town. Suck and die. No one ever makes it in this place. You won't find any stores to loot here. Hey, don't get any bright ideas about trying anything. We may not look it, but every one of us is a trained killer. Oh, who am I kidding? Look, we're in trouble here. If you want to help, great. If not, 
Just please don't kill anyone while you're here. Well, we've got super mutants out that way and slavers up that way. They both come in here, drag off as many as they can carry, and shoot whoever puts up a f The best we can ever hope for is that they get here at the same time and fight over who gets to kill us. And where are we going to go? Megaton won't have us, Lamplight won't take us back, and Rivet City is too far. Besides, the bunch of us can't even hold this town. Can you imagine us schlepping across the wasteland? should not be guided by temporary excitement, but by sober second thought. Sweet America, hello again. This is President Eden. I'd like to have a chat. I've been thinking quite a bit lately about something we can all relate to. Something that is unquestionably, inescapably American. I am referring, of course, oh. to our great national pastime, baseball. Or so it had been. That's right, America. Before we were devastated by atomic war, each state had its own professional baseball team. Imagine. Perfect cloudless day. The sun is warm and welcoming. And on the horizon, night your armed with bats of ash and hickory. Their name, the Capitol Congressman. Their purpose? Make you America, revel in the joys of sport and sunshine. If only. Now ask yourself this: What if the Capitol Congressman could live again? What if they could compete with 
baseball teams from Pennsylvania or Maryland. Put your faith in John Henry Eaton, great American. Baseball will live. Comfort, recreation, healthy competition. Oh. All will live again. Oh. This country oh. will live again. Reflect upon all I have said. Oh. Good to see you. Greetings, dearest America. This is your president, John Henry Eaton. Let's chat, shall we? Let's talk about government, shall we? Or more specifically, your government, dear America, the Enclave. Just who is the Enclave? Why, now that's simple. The Enclave is you, America. The Enclave is your sister, your aunt, your friend, your, your neighbor. And well, yes, the Enclave is me as well. <laughs> as your president, it is my responsibility Side over our great democracy. Yeah, you need something? So, as your president, I am the voice. If you need something from me, spill it.
Got my eye on you. Don't do it. He said what? Oh, I never did like the look of him. Good point. Come with me. You're about to get an education in wasteland justice. business in Megaton. I'm sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. A bomb. A You're move? trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff, I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Someone is surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation. Personally. Don't look at me like I'm that. placing you under arrest, Burke. At least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request. Sheriff, sure. sure. I have pressing get matters to attend to. Now, step aside. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Why do you knuckle draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. Go! You there, Herc. Explain your business in Megatown. I'm sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. A bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff, I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Someone is sure they've been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation. Personally. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. At least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Now, step aside. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Why do you knuckle-draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. A traveler, eh? You there, Burke. Explain your business in Megaton. I'm sorry. Sheriff, 
What are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff, I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Someone is surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation personally. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. At least you. until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Now, step aside. This isn't hey. open to discussion. You're hey. coming with me. Why do you knuckle-draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. Hey, come here. I want to talk to you. I must be getting slow in my old age. Thanks for saving my hide there. Don't... weapon of war Why, is our salvation. The Enclave is you, America. The Enclave is your sister, your aunt, your friend, your, your neighbor. And well, yes? I'll be damned. You Here's your reward. Hell, why don't you... It ain't much to look...
Allow me to introduce myself. I am here to look after your needs. What? Welcome, weary traveler. Well, wander no more, my good friend, for I am... Let's see what the good doctor has in his magic bag, shall we? The values of our past shall be the foundation of our future. For now, my America, we must part. Restoring the greatest country in the world to its former glory, well, well, well... That takes time, even for the only. Until next time, this is John Henry Eden, signing off. But not least, 
the hideously mutated super mutants that have completely overrun the entire downtown DC area. Lawlessness, terror, murder. They're all around us, I know. I know. Not for long, sweet America. Not for long. Welcome. Oh, no. Enclave will restore peace, order, and prosperity to this great nation. And those who oppose us will be removed forever. So remember, America. Enclave is working around the clock to return this country to greatness. All you need is a little patience, a little faith. Until we meet again, this is your president, John Henry Eaton, signing off. Thank you.